continue journeying together in our Christian faith, I would like to invite you all today to reflect upon the Gospel passage according to John chapter 15 verses 18 to 21. In this part of John's Gospel, we see Jesus preparing his disciples for the cross, resurrection, and his absence, and of course to make them aware that they will go through persecution because they were his disciples. When we read the Bible, we see how many times Jesus was rejected and how hard it was for him to carry out his mission throughout his earthly life. He was rejected even by his own people, the Jews, and this rejection continued even to the point that he was rejected by the denier of his own apostle, Peter. I do not know this man. Despite of everything that happened to him, Jesus did not stop loving those who were against him. Just like, just like Jesus said, to the, said the truth to his apostles in order for them to understand that the journey they took was not all about flowers and rainbows, let us also take the side of Jesus and stand for the truth always no matter how other people will say bad things about us. The last two Beatitudes we find in Matthew chapter 5, verse 11 and 12 clearly states, Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me, and rejoice and be glad for you for your reward will be great in heaven. This they, thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus wants us to withstand criticism, false accusations, and misunderstandings for his purpose with his support. I can assure you that Jesus is always with you, no matter what you go through in your life. All we need to do is to take up our crosses and follow him with sincerity of heart and mind. Let us be like his disciples, whom he prepared by letting them know the truth about the consequences they were to face in following his way, and also to know the joy that comes from God when one does his will. The time will come when we will feel that we are left out, lonely on the way, humiliated, embarrassed, and all sorts of negative things. Let us get up and be ready. When such moment comes, we are like soldiers who are already prepared for a greater war. This should always be in our hearts and minds, that difficult time will come because we have chosen the path of truth and we have chosen to be people of God and witnesses to his glory. Jesus wants us to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God's plans, power and perspectives with his spirit, just as it is said in John's Gospel chapter 16, verse 13. But when comes the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak to you the things that he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are coming. Jesus wants us to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness even during times of anxiety, shortage of provision, and, and hardship. God is always on our side, and he is ready to lift us up any time we fall. All we need to do is to have faith and stand our ground to the truth and run our race with the help of the power from above. I pray that may the good Lord help every one of us with responsibilities to carry out. May he bless the church leaders
to run their ministry successfully. May the good Lord guide married couples to be truthful to their spouses and provide them with all that they cannot acquire on their own. May the Lord protect all the government and traditional leaders and bring them to the truth of doing what is right before all the people. Let us always be aware that the stormy weather will always come in our lives. But when the storm comes, the terrible storms of life, what do we do as humans? How do we react? We must be steadfast. We must be prayerful. We must keep our hands clean and ensure that we don't hurt people. Because the Almighty always sees us throughout the storm, no matter how dark and thick the cloud is. May God bless us all. Amen.